Hello, I'm Sarah Evelyn Teal. I'd like you to know a little bit about my life. I was born in 1913 near Sylvania, Saskatchewan. My name was Sarah Evelyn Teal, but everyone calls me Sally. My mother was Alice Simpson from Ontario. She met and married my father in Saskatchewan. My father, Arthur Teal, was from Hessel, Yorkshire, England, and he was killed in World War I when I was three years old. My stepfather, Fred Randall, was a coarse and sometimes brutal man, although he was kind to me. I felt very close to God as a child. There is a story about two little girls going to school. They were afraid they would be late. One girl said, I'm going to stop and pray. The other girl said, you can stop and pray if you want to, but I am going to run and pray. That's the way it was on the farm. If you were going to pray you had better run and pray. There never was time to stop and meditate. Besides, it was not a prayerful household. There was an inordinate amount of foul language and dirty stories, which latter, I was thankful that I didn't understand so I could ignore them. Charles Hippard, from Pontypridd, Wales came to work as a hired man on my parents' farm, and his kindness and good humor won my love. We married at Tisdale, Saskatchewan, on July 1, 1932. Our son Llewellyn was born April 13, 1934 and our son Mervyn was born November 19, 1937. With the outbreak of World War II, Charlie joined the Army, along with my brothers Walter and Ralph Teal, and my brother-in-law Ernest Kinney. By this time Charlie and I had a homestead of our own, but I was unable to work it by myself, with two young children, so I gave it up and moved into Saskatoon. This gave me some time to think about the meaning and purpose of life. I was unsatisfied by the answers I received from the local churches. Some friends introduced me to Mormon missionaries. I studied the scriptures with them and prayerfully considered their doctrines and on May 28, 1943 I became a baptized member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Later, my mother Alice was also baptized. I decided to move to Raymond, Alberta, where the church was strong and I could raise my boys in the gospel. When Charlie returned from the war, he joined our family in Raymond. Charlie could see no reason to give up his Anglican church, but he fully supported his family's activity in their church. In fact, his two sons served missions, Lynn served in England and Merv in South Africa. The church encouraged me to develop my talents, and this brought me a lot of joy. I arranged flowers for weddings and funerals. The flowers usually came from my huge flower garden. I taught classes in our community on ceramics and on cake decorating and liquid embroidery. I was also a poet and an avid gardener. I was keenly aware of the beauty around us. While I knew tragedy at the most personal level, people found my good humor somewhat infectious. Usually the fun was quiet, but in board games like pit and card games such as donkey, things could get really loud. I created a set of dishes made entirely by me and passed along to Judy and then her daughter Evelyn. My mother, Alice, sold her farm and moved to Raymond. By 1946, my sister I own had become ill and was unable to take care of her family. Mother did not want to see I own's children separated by adoption, so she gained legal custody of them and brought them to Raymond. I became like a second mother to these children, and Charlie treated them like his own. The town of Raymond had been established by Mormons from Utah and the church was central to life in the town. Charlie remained among the committed non-members until a young missionary came to visit him. Your son Llewellyn taught and baptized my stepfather in England. Would you allow me to teach you the gospel? Charlie agreed and at age 85 he was converted and baptized, it was a joy and a shock to the whole family. I am grateful for the gospel of Jesus Christ and for the love and support of my wonderful family, and my many, many friends. Thank you for listening to my story.